Man, if there's one thing I'm gonna miss for this chapter, it's the music. I've made it a huge point time to get how much I love the music for the most part of the Chiba region, and I'm gonna miss hearing it. But it was great to listen to it again while it lasted. Greetings all, it's Blue Knight, and welcome back to Paper Mario. Previously, we took down the Crystal King, the inhabitor of Crystal Palace. Surprise, surprise. And we got the final star spirit, who is Kalbar. Very warm, warm, very warm hearted, not hard warded. Very warm hearted. He hates fights or arguments. I wouldn't want to think that give him his luck. And we learned the power up and away from him that could turn all enemies into stars. I think this is one of the few techniques that cannot get you any star points if that's true. But I'll be sure to try to show that off when we do come across foes that won't give star points if we defeat them by regular means. Besides, we have to go back to Goomba Village anyways because I did remember we have to get a letter delivered to a member of, of Goopa's, not Goopa's, Goobario's family to uh, finish up a little side quest over there, the the mail side quest thing. <laughs> On the way back, we'll just get all of this stuff uh, because we got plenty of room in our inventory, so why not? Yes, even this pebble, the Fable Pebble Double Fell King Bowser. I'll make sure of that. He says sarcastically, but it may happen, you never know. So today, like I said, we're gonna pick up a, a few items along the way, cause there is a there is a few things I did miss out on in the Shiver region before we do head back to Toad Town and do some other things before we do eventually depart for Bowser slash Peach's Castle. Cause I jumped the gun a little too soon when I said we're going right to the castle after we do leave the Shiver region. We still have some things to do, like with delivering more mail, in order to uh, get all the stuff wrapped up, like side quest wise or side stuff wise, before we can go into the end game. While we're going back, I like to talk about more unused stuff that is still stuck in the game's ROM. There's data that exists for Frosty Koopas. Frosty Koopas and Frosty Pokies that exist. There's also data for Red Koopas and Red Paragoopas that were probably intended for Lava Lava Island. All of these are just palette swaps that were possibly discarded for lacking in variety. So back in Shiver Snowfield, there's at least three things that we can get in this specific screen. I did hesitate say before that there might have been stuff we could have got here before, but I thought otherwise. Turns out I was correct on my initial assumptions. The only thing is, I'm not sure where some of that stuff is. <laughs> Just to say that, we uncovered the star piece that I thought we could find it here before. Ugh, <laughs> oh, go figure. I know there's a... Ooh, hello. I'm pretty sure. Heck yeah! This is where the letter I was thinking before that was addressed to Mayor Penguin would be residing. Alright. I was going to bring that up and sure enough, I just have to stumble across it. But this last item existing in the screen will get Watt out. Since I'm pretty positive, there could be... No? It's not here? I was thinking it might be an invisible block, but it might be something else. Wait a second. Wait a second. Was it what that I needed? It was just stuck behind this tree, a repel gel. I could have used that in the Crystal Palace, that's for sure. Would have saved my hide at least a couple of times. Now for the last item, we go back to the path leading up to... Not to that. As I was gonna say, on the way over to Starboard Valley, right- oh my gosh. On the way over to Starboard Valley, near this specific area actually, it's where we fought the Monstar. 
this block existed, which would contain a stopwatch. Another possible item I probably could have used back at the Crystal Palace if I didn't waste all the stuff I had beforehand. But that's all the stuff we can get in the Shiver region, at least all the things that I missed out on before. So now there's really nothing left for us to get here except for deliver that uh, letter we just found uh, to the Bear Penguin. So we'll get that delivered and then say our goodbyes to the Shiver region for good. Oh, right, I forgot this was going to happen. I took a nap and when I woke up, there were all these items. Uh, and it was the weirdest thing, the floor was all wet as if snow had melted everywhere. Do you think someone left all these as a present for you, Mario? But who would do that? Well, I think I have my suspicions. <laughs> and by suspicions, I'm... Actually, me, it turns out to be fact. Because I couldn't carry this with me. <laughs> I should throw away the one pebble I have. Now I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that pebble because you never know. That might be the thing that helps save us and the Mushroom Kingdom from Bowser in the end. Now I'll just sacrifice this. So if I'm correct, all of those mushrooms we just got were courtesy of the snowman that we met before going to Shiver Mountain. As in the snowmen that were guarding uh, the entrance to the mountain. Uh, they all arrived at the cabin while we were sleeping. Uh, and uh, melted to, uh, I guess, sacrifice their essences. Uh, to give us items that we'll need to go on the adventure. If you really think about it, it's pretty bold. But also kind of deep. Uh, as well as a little morbid. Since they're, well, giving up their own lives to... Uh, help us out in some small way still that's a really deep detail that you probably wouldn't notice otherwise uh, if you beat the crystal king and just immediately went to go exit the shiver region <laughs> pretty bold and such a unique detail like i said before kind of cool part of the pun really makes those snowmen more valuable than you realize when you do that. I do believe you saved all seven star spirits. Now all you have to do is defeat King Bowser, or just Bowser, and bring back the star rod so that the world can be peaceful again. And all those poor kidnapped people can come back. Wish the stars you'll win. You may have Penguin Ship City, correct? The name's Paracurry. I deliver lettuce. I believe I have one for you. Hang on a moment. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. For me? Oh, it's from Yoshi Village. I didn't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but my bear is pretty far away. I'll read this later. Thanks very much. Oh, hang on. I'll give you this. Of course, no star piece. As if we could expect anything else at this point. And with that last loose end tied up... We have no more business in Shiver City or in the Shiver region anymore. So as much as I hate to do it, we gotta say our goodbyes to this place and keep proceeding with our adventure. Bowser, it could be way for us forever, otherwise you just get really impatient at some point. But I'm sure Bar will find some time to go visit the Shiver region again someday, long after this whole journey is done. At least that's what I have to think. Since we're heading through the tunnels, I'll use this time to demonstrate Hurricane. I really will have another chance at use this since it's another move that cannot let you get any star points from enemies that can distribute those. If this works, it'll blow the enemies away from battle. Gotta press A and B together repeatedly. It's one of these moves. Not as good as I thought it would be, but it was good enough to blow them away. And that's pretty much what it looks like. None too special. Honey, I'm home! It's probably what Goopa would say if he was on an adventure with us. Nope, we're back with Goobara's family in Goomba Village. I don't know why I got Goobario out. 
want to get paracarry out because we have to deliver this letter to Goopapa. Technically, it is addressed to uh, Gubaria, but we have to deliver it to Goopapa because he will be able to relay, relay it to her better. It's a Goopapa. Paracarry here. I have a letter for you. Hang on a moment. There it is. And there it goes. Another letter duly delivered. A postman's job is never done. Thank you, sir. What do we what do we do without post what we what will we do without postal service? Yeah, words. Words are just hard sometimes. Oh how interesting. Oh hey how oh, how interesting. A letter for Gabaria. I guess I can open it. I remember she wrote a letter just the other day and I was wondering what it was. I see. I guess it was a question. And this seems like the answer. It looks pretty complicated, but I think I understand. I'll tell her all about it. Thanks so much for the prompt delivery. Here, take this. And this is the end of the long, long chain of letters we've been dealing with through the most part of the game. Our reward is the Lucky Day Badge. Sometimes makes enemies fail to attack Mario. So this sounds like it's pretty worth it in the end. But oy vey, there were so many letters we had to go through in this specific chain that we just had to deliver. At least Paracure got all that sorted out, now he can just rest easy knowing that... There's still one more we had to deliver. Alright, it's back at Shooting Star Summit, we have to go there anyways. Well, at least we got the majority of Paracure's mess sorted out with that long chain of letters. So he can rest easy knowing that. Is now behind us. In the meantime, I actually want to go out to the path because there are some techniques I haven't demonstrated with the star power. At least a couple I don't think I have shown yet. And I might as well just do that right now because I might end up neglecting doing that going forward. So, first off, we'll show off. I don't think I've shown chill out. If I haven't, uh, then we'll just do it again. Uh, if it works, we'll briefly lower the enemy's attack power by three. Uh, we can always go back to a toad house and get our star power back anyway, so I'm not too worried about showing all of this off very quickly. And that's what it looks like. Only two star power shows uh, that will be used. <laughs> I don't even have to defend because we're so dang strong at this point that this poor little Goomba can't harm us at all. <laughs> At least Josie come a long way. Next up will be timeout. If it works, can keep enemies from moving for a short time. Basically, it's a way to use, I think, uh, a stopwatch. Yeah, it's pretty much that. We just have that all the time now, like I mentioned. The first time we did see that description, actually. Look at that. Five turns for this poor little Goomba. And we'll use up and away. It turns enemy into stars and blows them away. This one I don't think I'll be using in the last league of the adventure. Since I do value experience and I really wanna don't wanna use that. Um, okay. I think it's because he's still, that means we can't really like turn him into a star. <laughs> That's weird. You know what? I think I'll focus and just recharge my star power. Just really see that in action after the debuff that this Goopa has already will be lifted. In the meantime, I'd like to share something that I probably could have talked about a long time ago, but I feel like now is the relevant point where I can't bring this up. In the game's code, Gooba, Gubaria, and Twink were all listed in the game as partners. Twink was the closest to get to this since he's with Peach for, for the majority of the story. And the other two can be accessed by Game Sharking. But Gubaria would have crashed the game if you did open up the partner's menu with them out in the field or starting a battle. Their icons are Coopers in the list. Goopa could have acted as normal since he followed you early on the adventure. And even had his abilities locked since they were never really programmed. 
this definitely shows they could have been partners at first. Other candidates from uh, unused non-translated texts from what I've gathered that were considered were a ninji, those characters that were caretaking the star kids in Starboard Valley, a chain chop, and a bandit, plus someone named Red. It was never clarified who this Red was. All that this specific candidate was given was just a name. Nothing more uh, exists for information on that particular character than just the alibi. Jock! Can't believe you have to see you again. I guess it wouldn't be a Paper Mario endgame without you having to pop up one more time. At least you're not in Koopa Village, because Lord knows you like to reside there so much. So what's going to be this potential final question before we do start the end game? When it's more lovely who tells fortunes about, about special things live. That has to be Shooting Star Summit. <laughs> yeah, of course, she resides at Bowser's Castle. That's clearly the safest place where she could be for us to talk to her. There's Star Piece, and that brings us to 15 out of 64. I'm not surprised we did get at least halfway there. I mean, 64 questions from Chuck Wispo, that's a lot to go through. Like I mentioned before in the series, I might... I might grind the rest of his questions as part of, like, live streaming someday. The day that I do have the means to begin streaming on Twitch. Could be just a little thing that I can do to wrap up that little bit for the sake of completion. For the sake of uh, completing the game. I could probably also do that for a Rip Cheeto, actually. By just grinding for coins and just doing that. It'll be a pretty chill thing to do and... Also, just brings you one step, one step closer to completion, like I already mentioned. Just something I want to uh, potentially do. Not really mandatory, but uh, I think it would be nice to just, like I've already mentioned, just do that because completing. It really would bother me otherwise, not gonna lie. It would be a small bother, but it would be a bother nonetheless. So since we have taken care of that... Let's go visit the post office real quick. Uh, see if there's any other letters we have uh, that's addressed for our partners. Uh, we have received some mail, not surprising, to Bombette, Watts, and Lackluster. First, Bombette. Oh boy. <laughs> it's this Bruce guy again. I'm pretty sure it's the same Bombette that was crying out for her name back in Koopa Village some time back. <laughs> All right, let's see what this has to, has to be about. Bobbet! I love you. 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 I think you get the idea at this point. I'm not going through all that. Yep, he's still going. I'm pretty sure this is a love letter, to say the least. Please understand how I feel. I love you. You're Bruce. I think I would like to read more letters just to cleanse myself from that, and probably Bob Ed too. That's got to be like a nuisance to her at this point. Can we get a letter from Watt's mother? This could only be wholesome. It has to be wholesome. That's the only direction I can think this will take. What? Thank the stars you're safe. I was so worried. When you first disappeared, we were completely baffled. No one would help us, we couldn't find a clue. Then we went to Toad Town and I heard about the toy box. I was pretty sure you'd be okay in there for a while, but... I was still worried. Please give my deepest thanks to those who saved you. Come home soon, your mother. Well, at least we know there's someone out there that does care for Watt's well-being after we can get through this entire thing. So good to know that Watt does have someone looking out for them besides us. We won't miss uh, not having one by our side anymore, though. Now, we have someone named Flight addressing Lackalester. It's a pretty odd name, but I'm pretty sure there'll be a Lackatu. I mean, that's the only species you could come up with with someone given that name. Dear Spike, You turncoat! You're hanging around with Mario! I'll never forgive you, 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 you big traitor! 
I heard that your real name is Lackalester, too. I've never heard such a silly name. I'm gonna call you Lackalester from now on. The only way you could earn my respect now would be to beat Lord Bowser. <laughs> yeah, right. Do that, and I'll forgive you. Flight of Team Lakitu. Well then, I guess that's just one more reason for us to beat up Bowser. To clear up Black Alessa's name and actually give that name some legitimacy. I think it's about time that Black Lester does not have any shame in his name anymore. After we do beat Bowser, I'm pretty sure he'll get used to it. After all, that name will be attached to one of the people that did trump Lord Bowser in his ongoing quest to try and subdue Princess Peach for her hand of marriage, probably, or world domination. He really knows at this point. I think Bowser's doing the whole kidnapping thing just for the fun of it. Probably because it annoys Mario as much as he thinks. I mean, Mario might not show it, but I'm pretty sure deep down inside, he must be really tired of Bowser's crap by now. I mean, he's been able to deal with this for like over 30 years at this point. You had to think he would be tired about this whole song and dance at some, some point in, this, in their lives, <laughs> in their lifetime. Princess Peach is still caught up way up in the sky. Come on, Mario. You're a hero, bro. You have to save it. Is pretty much all you have to say? There's more to that, actually. Oh well, at least Luigi's still looking out for Princess Peach. Still being a good being that little Luigi is. Little Luigi. I see that as he's the taller of the two Mario Bros. Why is Whistlewind somehow was able to get of us, give us a personal letter, even though he can't write? Maybe he had one of the bubbles do it for him. Dear Mario, how are you holding up? It's so sunny in Flower Fields. Peace has returned here. Lily's in her own little world as usual. Rosie is spreading a rumor that you're interested in her. Really? You think Mario would find a way to coerce or like arrange some sort of marriage with a flower of all things? That flower really is stuck in her own head too much. I hear that Petunia is singing your praises across the land. Well, at least we have someone nice that's actually sensible in some way. As you know, I cannot move from this spot, but I'm content to watch the bubbles frolic. Good luck to you, Mario. All of Flower Fields is wishing to the stars that your dreams will come true. Wise Wisterwood. I do like the portrait here though, showing all the flowers we did see in Flower Fields. At least the ones that had some personalities. But there's also Wise Wisterwood off of the corner that has the smallest image of all of this letter. How ironic, the biggest entity that exists in Flower Fields has the smallest portrait in that letter to Mario. I'm pretty sure that was the idea. There's no way that could not have been unintentional. And Luigi, once again, once again chronicling two more pages into his diary. Chances are these might be the last ones we'll have to see in this entire game. Somebody said to me that a way will open when you use a scarf and a bucket. What? what? A scarf or a snowman? Wouldn't it melt him? I think that's the least of the things you should worry about, Luigi. <laughs> I mean, I get where you're coming from, but I'm sure it's a lot more things you could question about that scenario. Yesterday, I got stuck in a trap door when I was entering <laughs> my secret room. <laughs> oh no. And I've been using it too much, or am I putting on weight? <laughs> I'd better oil it to make it easier to open it easier. <laughs> Oh man, Luigi, there's no way you could be getting any weight. I mean, you're pretty much paper thin as it is, but then again, everyone in this world is paper thin, so, uh... Maybe it's me that's doing that from going in and out so much. You should, you should play Mario for that. <laughs> I mean, he's a lot more wired than you are. <laughs> Just saying. And with that, I think that's all we could do in Toad Town. And the way it's side stuff, really all there is that we can't show... Now in the game, well, except for this. Shiver Sensation, Mario Master's Crystal Palace. Mario went to the Shiver Region to look for the last star spirit. 
and discovered the legendary crystal palace at the top of Shiver Mountain. This palace is said to have been built and dedicated to the star spirits. Bowser's evil followers, however, had taken over. Mario put those goons on ice and saved the last star spirit. Now with all the star spirits together, they're on their way to Shooting Star Summit. It's finally time to head to Bowser's castle. Good luck, Mario! Stars, is a heart. Now I could draw a music note. I love scribbling, a little toad. Yeah, that's pretty much all we can show off of the game now. So there's really nothing else for us to do except head for Shooting Star Summit. Except for one more thing. This is something that I'll admit I was not planning to do at all when I was planning out this LP back in the preparation stage of it. But after how this series has gone, I think this particular character has earned what I'm about to do. Yeah, you should probably guess by now who I'm talking about. Since I'm here at Dry Dry Outpost. I gotta do it. I mean, I, I have to do it. I was initially thinking not giving Merle any reason to continue her spell since we're so close to the end of the game. But after how good she's been to me, I can't say no to her. She's been like my guardian angel for a long time now. And just leaving her out in the end game of this adventure would be the biggest injustice I could possibly commit. I was not worried about the cash at all to afford this, but I really didn't think that really would be as kind to me as she has. After how she's been performing though, she's earned more than my respect. I mean, if, there's, if there was a way I could give her like a really big hug, I would do that. I would not miss words about it. She has been that kind to me and I would love to repay her in the best of ways. So Merle, you're taking along for this final leg in the journey, whether you know it or not. <laughs> like I said, she's earned it, and she deserves it just as much. And with that, I think we're finally prepared for what's going on ahead after I get some items off screen because I feel like I wasted too much time in dilly-dallying around the inevitable. So, after I take care of some of the last minute preparations off screen, next time, we'll finally depart for Shitty Star Summit and begin the final leg of the journey. Until we meet again, farewell for now.